Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a week, amazing, amazing weekend. So today I have my samples to share with you guys. I wanted to talk about all the products I pulled in last week's sample Sunday, and then we're going to pull some new products. So all of my samples are in this cute little bucket that I shared with you guys that I got at TJ Maxx for like six bucks. I thought it was a fantastic deal. So let's get into the goodies. The first thing is this right here. This is the Buxom Plump Liner Lip Liner. So this lip liner is in the shade, hang on, let me grab it out of here. It's in the shade hush hush i was like what is there a shade on here it's hush hush it's a really beautiful like a nudie mauve shade i love the formula to this i also love that on the end of it it comes with a little brush so you can like smooth it out if you wanted to that wasn't necessary for me to be honest with you i love the way it looked by itself by just spreading it onto my lips it's a very very beautiful color it's a good formulation as well the formula seemed to last on my lips a good amount of time because it's more of a drier style but it's not so dry that it's going to make your lips fill or look like a butthole or anything like that so it's not going to be so dry that it's going to make them look raisinish it's just a drier formula that sticks really well to your lips i really enjoyed this this is something i personally would purchase more of because i have not really purchased many lip liners and i like this as a lip liner and like a lipstick duo type of thing that's pretty cool to me so this is really nice and i would definitely purchase more of those or purchase some of those i don't have any yet so the next thing is a shampoo this is the chlorine shampoo this is in the scent mango oh my gosh guys first of all this is a really nice generous size of a sample this is 3.38 ounces so there's no way that i was going to use all this especially because i only wash my hair every other day i don't wash my hair actually it's like every three days is when i wash it but i don't wash my hair every day because it is very dry so for me it's going to take me a little while to use this sample but the thing i like about this shampoo first of all the smell is fantastic second of all i felt like my hair was very very clean when i used it my hair was almost that do you ever wash your hair and it's almost like that squeaky style clean I don't know if that's technically good for your hair when it gets that clean, but it felt really good because it felt like it cleaned all of the different products that were in my hair out of my hair. So this was fantastic. The scent lingers to your hair as well. So when I put and washed my hair the night before, I woke up the next morning and my hair still smelled like mangoes. And I was like, yes, I love the scent of mango. So for me, it's a nice, fresh, fruity scent and it cleans your hair really, really well. I would purchase more of these for sure. The next thing is from Washtopia, or actually it's Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals Washtopia. This is a mascara. Honestly, I was like, I felt very indifferent about the mascara. I felt like it didn't do a whole lot for my lashes, but it wasn't that it just coated them either. It was basically that it was just giving you a little bit of volume, a little bit of length, nothing extreme. The wand to it was fine. I didn't have anything, pro any problems with the wand. It is a little bit bigger, but these kinds of wands like this are great for separation. So if you want to separate your lashes really well, this is good for that, but it can also clump your lashes. So be careful because it can get clumpy pretty quickly as well. For me, it just was a, an okay formula. It wasn't the wand that was the problem. It was the formula. I feel like the formula just wasn't that great. So I would not purchase this. Not something that I need. The next thing is something that I absolutely fell in love with. This is the June Jacobs Spa Collection Neroli Hydrating Mist. So you can use this like as a skincare product. You can use it throughout the day just kind of as a refresher. You can put it over top of makeup. You can put it without makeup. Basically you can spray it whenever you want to. First of all the Neroli scent to this is fantabulous. I don't know what this scent is or what it reminds me of but oh my gosh it smells so so good. I love the way it smells. I love how hydrating it is. It does take a little bit for it to sink into your skin. The sprayer to it is not super crazy. It's uh, it's just a very fresh, refreshing scent. I can't even describe what it smells like, but it's just really, really good. I absolutely love this. I went ahead and looked it up on to see where I could purchase it at. So I think I'm going to purchase a full, full size bottle of this. It's $28 on the Derm store. So I think I need a full size of this because it's just so refreshing and smells so good. It smells better than a spa. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend that you guys check this out if you have never checked out June Jacobs before. I had never heard of it to be honest with you. So then when I googled it, it came up as the Derm store and I was like, yes, that's where I need to purchase it because Derm store does have some fantastic items and they usually offer a good decent discount as well. So so I'm going to be purchasing mine off of Derm Store. So if you're interested in it, that's where I'm getting mine. The next thing is from Lancome. This is the Bifacial or Bifacial. Is it Bifacial or Bifacial? I'm not sure. <clears throat> this is the Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This does a good job. I will say it does do a good job. 
the problem with it for me is it's still even being a more pricey of an eye makeup remover I still woke up in the morning if you ever wake up in the morning and you still have a little bit of mascara or something underneath your lash line here and you are gonna have to again wash your face because there's like that black smudgy looking stuff there every time I would use this that's how I would wake up the next morning still looking like I didn't get every single bit of my makeup off so this does a good job but it just doesn't do a good enough job in my opinion for the amount of money that you're going to spend on it. I would much rather use like the Kapari, the coconut scrub like that or the Clinique take the day off the balm there. I love the balms is the ones I really like. So the Kapari balm, the Clinique take the day off balm, those do a much much better job in my opinion for getting eye makeup off. So this does a fine job because it's got some oil in it but it just doesn't do, doesn't do it good enough where I would pay the full price for this. So not interested the next thing is from this is the miracle fruit oil this says miracle fruit seed oil treatment repairs and strengthens your hair for all hair types this smells so good it smells like a giant fruit salad I didn't really notice a difference in my hair whether or not it was actually repairing it or not but I do know one thing I don't love this oil because it's a little bit more heavy so if you're someone like me you have very fine thin hair you don't want to use an oil like this because it's going to weigh it down and it's going to look greasy. So I had a couple days there where I looked a little greasy and I'm like, yeah, I'm not used to this. My hair looks really greasy. So this was not an oil for me. The one that I tried last week, the BioSilk as well as the Moroccan oil, both of those are a lot more lightweight. I would say the BioSilk is way lighter than any of the three, honestly. This just smells really good, but I think it would be better for somebody who has a lot thicker strands of hair or a lot thicker hair period because it's just not going to be good for somebody who has very thin hair like I do. It just weighs it down and makes you look greasy. So even using a small amount of it, I don't recommend it. The next thing is from Clarins. This is the My Clarins Reboost uh, Refreshing Hydrating Cream. This was fine. I wasn't super excited about it. I wasn't disappointed. In it. it just wasn't impressive enough in my opinion. So I was just like, okay, it's like a hydrate. It's like a moisturizer. It's a very basic, no thrills, no frills moisturizer. So for me, this was just kind of a pass. I was just like, I didn't feel so excited about it. I was like, nope, not my thing. Then we have two perfume samples. I have the replica at the Barber's. This is a really nice scent for a gentleman. So this smells like aftershave oil in my opinion, or not aftershave oil, but aftershave cream or aftershave lotion or aftershave, whatever it is that men usually put on, I have no idea. But I know my husband has smelled similar to this after like shaving his face and everything. And that's what it smells like to me. So it's it's good, but I personally wouldn't want that for his cologne. I, that's fine for his face to smell like that, but not for his cologne. So it's not one that I would purchase for him. Then I have the Replica Sailing Day. This one smells so fresh and clean. It's almost like a cotton-like smell, like when you're doing fresh laundry. It smells really, really good. So I do recommend this one. It's really lightweight and it doesn't seem to dissipate super quickly. It does, I would say probably last about four to six hours is probably the length of time this lasts. So it's not super long, but it's not one of those that as soon as you spray it, it's gone either. So it's a good one. It's just, it's not gonna last you like a full eight hour like work day in my opinion. So it's really nice though. All right, so that is everything. That is just the empty box here. So now I'm gonna pull some new samples. So we're gonna start with the body and hair. I'm gonna pull two out of here. The first sample is, this is the Mark Anthony Grow Long Leave-In Conditioner. This says it's free from sulfates, SLS, parabens, and phthalates. So I'm excited about this because this is a brand that I told you guys before that I was excited about testing more of. I know Jen from Jen Loves Reviews has rec recommended this brand before, so I'm excited about that. The next thing is, ooh, what do we have here? Diva Curl Build Up Buster. This is a gentle deep cleansing serum. I have used a lot of things from Diva Curl, but I don't think I've used the Build Up Buster. So this would be good because I did talk about the chlorine made my hair feel very clean, almost like a squeaky clean. So maybe my hair does need like a deep cleansing. So to get any of the like dry shampoos or like volumizing products that I use in my hair out. So I'm going to definitely try this out and let you guys know how that works. All right. So now let's move the basket over there. Now we're moving on to makeup. So we're going to pull two out of here. First one is, let's see what we got. We have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Touch, Instant Retouch Concealer. Ooh, I have not tried a whole lot from the Fenty Beauty line. I've tried one palette and the bronzer 
and I think that oh and the lip gloss the lip gloss is good but I haven't tried this for sure so I'm excited about trying this out to see if it's any good see if it's comparable to my favorite the Urban Decay the um what is it naked skin I was gonna say all-nighter but no not all-nighter then the next one is let's see oh we have something from super goop so this is the super goop powder on SPF doesn't magically stay on all day and this is one of my favorite ways to reapply it so it's a powder SPF that's really cool so I have to give this a try this has SPF 45 and this is a translucent shade so that's pretty in ingenious to do that actually so we've got SPFs in uh, like a lot of our foundations and our moisturizers but I've never seen it in a powder so that's pretty cool now let's move on to the skincare basket we're gonna pull two three actually the first one is Clarins. This is the UV Plus Anti-Pollution Sunscreen Multi-Protection SPF 50. So that's a pretty decent size. This is 0.3 ounces. It looks bigger. It felt like it was going to be bigger than 0.3 to be honest with you. I think it's the box is kind of deceiving. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. But that's okay. That's still a great size to throw in my purse. My son does play football. So I'll be wearing this to his football games. <clears throat> the next thing is... Let's see, what do we have here? We have Murad. This is the Invisiblur Protecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So we've got two sunscreens to test out this week. I guess that means I'm gonna be working in my flower garden this week so I can test these SPFs out. So we have two now to test. Watch us get a third one, that would be hilarious. The next thing is, let's see, what do we got here? Pull in a packet, what is it? This is, the Saturday Skin Rub a Dub Refining Peel Gel. Ooh, I haven't tried too much from the Saturday Skin line. I have heard that it's pretty good though, so I'm excited about testing that out. Now let's pull our perfumes. I almost drop this basket all the time. I think it's because the lid is like this like cork style and it almost slips off. So let's pull two out of here. The first one is <clears throat> this is the Folle de Jolie Joy. I have no idea. I'm sure I butchered that completely. The name will be in the description box below because I have no idea what that even says. So I'm pretty sure I just messed it all up though. The next thing is the Chance by Chanel. Ooh, I want to purchase a Chanel perfume. If you guys have ever tried a lot of Chanel perfumes, let me know what's your favorite Chanel perfume because Chanel seems to be like a pretty popular one. So it seems pretty good. <clears throat> now let's move on to giving you guys the sample give giveaway bas bag basket I was gonna say give you the whole basket that would probably be a great idea so this is the tutti frutti little bag that's jam-packed full for a giveaway winner so let me pull up the set <clears throat> the video I'm like all tongue-tied today I think it's because my throat is starting to hurt I hope I'm not getting sick oh my gosh that would be my luck so the video pulling it up now is here Okay, so let's see. Let's go to the comments. Oh my gosh, I think I am getting sick. Do you hear it's like getting worse? All right, so I'm going to scroll through the comments here. And the winner is here. Danielle Mish, she says, you have me interested in the bio soap now. May I ha may have to pick that up. So Danielle Mish, M-I-S-C-H, you are the winner. So all you have to do to get your little goodie bag here is to find in the description box my email address. Send me your mailing address to that email address and I'll mail this out to you. So that is your goodie bag. So this week, the goodie bag is this cute little Ipsy one. It's a yellow and white, or not white, it's just like different shades of yellow little goodie bag. Figure we might as well get all these happy sunshiny bags out of the way before we all get trapped into fall because fall is like right around the corner. So let's pull our 10 samples for here. The first one is the Cover FX. This is the Custom Enhancer Drops, and this one is in Moonlight. So there's the first one. The next one is, ooh, we have the Natasha Denona Transformat Foundation. So again, if these don't fit, don't worry, because we'll get them all to go into a mailer. The next thing is, we have, whoa, is that even a sample? Yeah, it is. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. So there's just a little sample. The next one is, let's see, is we can find some bigger ones here. Now we have the Clinique High Impact Mascara. That's four. The next one is this one here. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. This is really cool. Like if it, it will definitely give your skin like a luminosity to it. Got five more to go, guys. The next one is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So there's six, 
for more. The next one is, ooh, we have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer at seven. <clears throat> the next one is, let's see, I'm trying to dig around to find the good samples for you. Oh, we have, ooh, I dropped it. <laughs> it's the Sun Balm Tinted Sunscreen Lip Balm and it's in the shade Bonfire, so there's a little lip balm. Three more to go, guys. Next one is, we have the, oh, you get two here. You get the Smashbox Primer, and then you have the Cora Noni Glow Face Oil. I don't like this oil, to be honest with you. I don't like the scent to it, but you might like it. I don't know. The next one is the Philosophy Amazing Grace Perfume. And then the last sample is, ooh, the Kate Spade Live Colorfully Perfume. This is one of my favorite perfumes. I absolutely love that. It's like a very happy, evoking type of perfume. So you, hopefully you'll enjoy it just as much as I do. So here's all the samples. Again, the bag's a little jam-packed, but that's okay. So all you have to do if you're interested in winning this little goodie bag is to leave me a comment, any comment, and just make sure you hashtag Sample Sunday. But that is it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear what samples you've been using. Have you found some ones that you could recommend to us? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.